This is part two of concentration camps for able-bodied, freeloading men in America. Whichever way you look at it, both parties cannot exist anymore. Whether it's Obama or it's Trump, for one of them to exist, the other one has to die. That's the gauntlet that has been laid down. So either one of them, Obama, who has stayed in Washington, and his attorney general, Loretta Lynch, has called for the murder of whites and race wars, and Trump, who is president now, one of them is going to have to do a holocaust on the other one. Obama's agenda has always been holocaust of Judeo-Christian America because they do not buy into his wicked agenda of men poking each other in behind and teaching little children to do it and giving entitlements to able-bodied men who instead ought to be in concentration camps or put to death if they will not go along with the system that if you don't work, you don't eat. Trump's situation he's in, he cannot stand around and let it go the way it's going because it's as though he's not even being the president. He's not the president. The ones on the left are running it. From the very beginning, the left has wanted Holocaust. That is the plan. And what Loretta Lynch is doing is telling those who are freeloading, whatever color they are, males, get ready to go to war and kill those on the right who don't believe the way we believe. And Obama has told me to tell you that just like he winked and turned a blind eye to the race rights the last two years he was in the office and killing for the calling for the killing of police officers. These people on the left have the same plan they always had to overthrow and do a holocaust. If Trump does not clean out the swamp, he must clean out the swamp. And to clean out the swamp is going to mean you do not cut entitlements to the elderly in America who have worked all their life, white and black alike, take that money and give it to the freeloading thugs, white and black alike. I'm not talking about females on either side. If America cleans out the freeloading males who won't work and can work, that will straighten us out and get us on a road to figure out how to deal with these females with all these babies or no babies who are getting this money because they've not had a man to take care of them because they were so sorry and low down and punk. It's these males in America that need to go to a concentration camp. And if they won't get along, they need to go to the ovens. It's evil what's being done in America. If Obama's people have their way, the elderly in America will be put on the curb like trash. So these freeloading men, anarchists, can take all their money. If Trump goes in there and does not stop that, He's going to be overthrown. This nation is going to burn. We are at the tipping point. This nation has never been poured out before. It's about being poured out before, overthrown, and a new government taken over. Loretta Lynch has called for the killing and the murdering of those on the right who will not go along with Obama's wicked agenda and those on the left. It's all about Holocaust. One of them is going to be Hitler, in somebody's opinion, because they both despise each other. One group despises the other group because they disagree with abortion because they disagree with same-sex marriage. 
because they disagree with taking the money of the elderly who've worked all their life, white and black life, and giving it to a bunch of punk, freeloading men. And they disagree with those on the right who believe that there's one God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus is God in the flesh and came and died and shed his blood to pay for the sins of me and you and everybody in the whole world that would receive him as Lord and Savior. They want those dead who believe that way so they can worship Obama's Lord, little L, Allah, moon God, and have Sharia. Those on the right, they despise those on the left. Because anybody thinks a man ought to poke another man in the behind and get married and flaunt it and make it legal, you need to be in the concentration camp. You need to be in the ovens. Anyone teaching children to do that, that it's right, you need to be in a concentration camp. You need to be in the ovens. Whichever way you go, you're going to have a Hitler either way. And if the left wins, they will fall because Sharia will take over and slaughter as I dreamed twice in the same week in 1996. Bodies stacked on both sides of the street. Four or five feet high, looked like snow drifts. Looked up both ends of the streets, and half the street signs were in Arabic. 1996. There is a Holocaust coming one way or the other. Make your choice soon. We're running out of time. Trump must deal with the people on the left. The wicked on the left. Or they will bring him down. There is no agreement anyway, anyhow anymore. Somebody has to fall and somebody has to stand. And the left has already alerted us through Loretta Lynch, Obama's attorney general. Kill, murder, and steal from those on the right. Get ready. We're fixing to burn the sucker down.